the overview. This is the holocron. If you don't know. And Cal destroyed it at the we end of the first one. Yep. Look at him. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. Ah. No! Look at this. A lightsaber. I was alone for a long time. I was scared that they'd find out who I was. I'm getting goosebumps. And you're not alone. I'm getting Anymore. goosebumps. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Get your lasers off my lunch! I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Couple bobs ain't gonna kill you, kid. Marin, right? I've spent years waiting for a chance to avenge my sisters. I know oh what it's God. like to lose everything. Oh Night sisters God. and Jedi do not travel together, but survivors, we adapt. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. Order 66, man. Jesus Christ. Life has this funny way of forcing you on the path forward. Oh Execute my God. Order 66. They turned on the Jedi and the Republic. Every Jedi faces the dark side. And his master died in the process, yeah. We could build something different. Something better. She'll sell you out too. You can't stop the Empire! I'm stronger now because of the pain. That's not true. That's what Sith drive on. Such hatred. Oh my god. Failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those oh my god. who continue to fight. I will never forget. I will honor your teaching and your sacrifice. By the right of the council, Cal Kestis, rise, Jedi Knight. Remember, trust only in the Force. So where to now? What's up, guys? Rich here. Welcome to the prequel to Jedi Survivor, the game called Fallen Order. I didn't do this game the best justice, if that makes any sense. Um, I didn't record it. I didn't, you know, kind of finish the series, and I I recorded it late. Maybe it was more for content. Maybe it was more for views. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I already kind of played the game or knew what happened in the most important parts of the first game. Basically, the quick rundown is, is that people, if you don't know, there's two sides to everything, and then there's people in between. You have good and evil, Jedi, Sith, the Republic, the Empire. The Empire is related to the Sith, which is the bad side, in our eyes at least, and the Jedi is related to the Republic. What ended up happening is there is an order called Execute Order 66 is what the exact phrase is what order 66 did is allowed the empire to secretly corrupt the republic and basically from the inside and infiltrate them and kill off probably 95 percent of the jedi um again don't ask me how stormtroopers are beating jedis that part is always going to be something to me i don't don't ask me but what i will say is is that Cal is a fictional character. This whole let's let's imagine Star Wars was real life. Cal is a fictional character placed in this, I guess you can say, scene in this moment, and he's one of the Jedi who hid and like kind of survived for years and years to come. Um, think of him kind of like a. If actually the irony of it is, it's kind of like what Obi Wan Kenobi should have been doing, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. Go watch it on Disney Plus. Cal is a survivor. He was never fully trained to the degree. He was kind of a Padawan. A Padawan is a Jedi in training. I think the order is Padawan, Jedi, Jedi Knight. Um, and then you can you can take different paths from there, obviously, before you get to Jedi Master, whatever the case may be. But the point is, is that Cal was never fully trained. And in the execute order 66, in that whole process, his master was actually killed and slain. So Cal actually never really had continuous training he also was like i said his master died he had to hide away 
until one day he didn't. And uh, I guess I'll show you that scene. Find us free like this? Maybe you take it off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. <laughs> You okay? Cal! I, I can't climb up! Bro! Just hang on! I'm slipping! No, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! And here's the moment Cal. that probably changed Cal's life forever. Well, it's already been changed forever because of Order 66, but okay, this bro? just awoke him and let people know where he was at. Pilot's gone! Basically, he used the force to rescue one of his good Watch friends, Prof. And, uh... Once he awake, I guess once... I guess the whole thing with Jedi is they always love to... Like, you know how the Sith say, they always love to play hero. They can't help to be a hero. Literally, in this instance, him being a hero saving Prof, which I'm not blaming him for doing the right thing. It just awakened the force, and it was like, hey, it was almost like, hey... We haven't heard any GPS location or any whatever from this person and then by using the force It's like activating find my iPhone And then it was like boom it's an instant ping and You'll see what happened next. So this here is also the first interaction of the force he's had and I guess it was like It's just odd to me that he hasn't had more visions and I know they don't show it but I think by using the force it almost like he took something on right like yeah it's just awakened something in everything in every regard because i believe for however many years since uh order 66 he has not even used the force once and of course he couldn't but ever since he, once he used it i felt like it like it kind of woke things up for him and then that's just now he's having visions and there's his old master yeah. Apprentice, mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the force. Yep. It was like a, was like a wake up call for him. And now, here we are. The infamous scene. Somebody, like I said, when I told you earlier, when he used Go the force, when he used the force, it instantly kind of, it was like a locator. It's kind of like a ping. Now, again, the Sith probably, like, they don't know who, you know what I'm saying? They don't know who did it. They don't they don't know who exactly was the cause of it, but they know that it's kind of like a ping, like an echolocation thing, where it was like, hey, someone in this general vicinity just used the force. And now, they started taking it serious, and here they come. Inquisitor. God, that outfit is so cool. And then obviously the knife. Oh man, they were loaded, guys. Oh my goodness. Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous See? Jedi Order. Here it is. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or every second sister is so cold. She'll face summary execution. And they just aimed it at everybody. It's time someone came forward. And Prof knew everyone would die, so someone had to give themselves up. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. Uh. The workers? They just started getting worked. It's hard to watch this again. 
The fact he has it ready and on him, like, it's just... We're just... too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You Don't do it. Oh. No! Yeah. And this, yeah, and from this moment on. Yeah, he's a Padawan at this point, guys, so don't be too hard on him. Yeah. Like I said, I've said this multiple times, but from this moment on, this is a mo an another moment that just deeply changed his life. So basically, from that moment on, he had no choice but to actually fight his way out. He kind of eliminated his only option, the ability to hide. You know, he, you know, gave up his face. Now everyone knows who the Jedi is. And from there, he really became a Jedi in the field. And so, you know, he had this great adventure. And like I, obviously we've seen already, I've already recorded through the first episode, but the person that he kind of met really early on in his adventure her name was seer and she was a force user when she was a child who turned inquisitor not by her choice and then after she kind of gave up on the force meaning like she didn't she felt like she was kind of a slave to being an inquisitor and being captured and things of that nature and that's what ended up happening so she gave up on the force but she always consented she always you know knew it was there when Cal used the Force, the irony of it is, not only did, you know, the Inquisitors and the Sith know, she also knew and she also felt it. And that's kind of what led her to this planet, wherever Cal was at in Fallen Order. And while he was fighting his way through and running away, we obviously saw that first boss fight. That first boss fight, the ninth, I mean, the second sister. No, the, no, you know, no, no, I was right. The second sister just worked Cal. Completely worked him. I mean, again, he's a Padawan. What is he going to know? But Seer rescued Cal, and from there, they had an adventure. They met her old master, or they saw her old master in Master Cordova, and uh, everything he left behind, what he did during kind of, ex you know, Order 66. And uh, from there, you know, that's what ended up happening. And that adventure is what led him to become this person we're seeing right in front of us and uh it's exciting thank you for all the support on the past videos and the videos obviously a hundred lives did amazing jesus christ um but i'm excited to begin this journey with you and uh again it's being boy rich and i'll see you soon